What's up guys, main man Swee here, hoping you're all doing awesome as always. And today I want to talk a little bit about Tekken 7's incredible lasting power. It was released in 2017 June, so it's been with us for uh, almost two years. In about three months it will be two years since its release and since then it sold over 3 million copies and Harada told us not long ago that they are actually expecting to hit 4 million sales which is incredible especially if you take a look at the sales of Tag 2 which across three different platforms I think only managed 1.5 million sales but that was a rather weak game if I may say so. Tekken 7 has done a lot of things correctly and especially the gameplay and the visuals are great. Uh, the music, <laughs> yeah I've seen better music, you're listening to it actually but uh, it's all up to personal taste, some people like the Tekken 7 tunes. But uh, we've had a season one of DLCs, we've had a season two, we can expect a season three, I think. I think that's how we are to interpretate, interpret what uh, Michael Murray and Harada said at uh, the Tekken World Tour Finals. Or was it Evo Japan? <laughs> I'm a bit lost now in my head. But uh, the game is very much alive, it's doing real well. And I wanted to show you guys the numbers, actually. Just, I, I know a lot of you don't check this, and this is these are the Steam charts, so they don't take into account Xbox One and PS4, but the, the figures for uh, Tekken 7 are quite remarkable on Steam. Uh, as you can see, you have a 24-hour peak. So that's the amount of people who played the game yesterday, or the, la the last 24 hours. And we are at 3,360. And if you check, if you compare to Soul Calibur 6 on Steam, the last 24 hours they had 366 players. And this is uh, almost, you're almost, that's almost 10% of what Tekken 7 did the last 24 hours. So Soul Calibur 6 on Steam, they are not doing well. They've seen a huge drop off. And this is a game that was released, god, it wasn't too long ago. We can check all here. Was it September or October? Yeah, I think it was released in October of uh, last year. That's five months ago. And this hurts uh, Bandai Namco. I mean, they are the developers. But uh, just to compare to Tekken, you know, the, the lifespan of Tekken 7. And then we have Dragon Ball Z Fighters. That was a huge hit on release. You can see 44,000 played this the weekend it was released. Tekken 7 only had 18,000. But look at the lasting power of Tekken 7, 3,300. And here we are at the 24 hour peak of Dragon Ball Z Fighters, 1,300, almost 1,400. Hmm, that's below half of Tekken 7. And Street Fighter V, which was released, was it one year prior to Tekken 7? I think it was February 2016. Um, yes, it was. 24-hour uh, peak, 1600. So that's half of Tekken 7. Again, very interesting considering this is a pretty big esports Street Fighter. But uh, Tekken 7 is slowly but surely uh, catching up to Street Fighter V. And this was something that would have been impossible to foresee during the era of Tag 2, where Tag 2 was competing to Street Fighter 4. And Street Fighter 4 was enormous. Everyone played that game, everyone was super hype. Um, and let's face it, Capcom kind of dropped the ball a bit with Street Fighter V, but it's still always done. Uh, uh, pretty damn well, you know, as an eSport. Uh, a lot of people watch Street Fighter. But again, on Steam, Tekken 7 has twice the numbers. And then you go to Mortal Kombat 10, and of course we're, we're soon gonna see Mortal Kombat 11. I'm sure that game's gonna do incredibly well. But Mortal Kombat 10 is the game that's out right now. It has 1,300 concurrent players. And then Injustice 2, 500. 24-hour uh, peak and this is interesting because it is bigger than Soul Calibur 6 but uh, again it is uh, 
lower than MK10 and it's much lower than Tekken 7. So there are of course many other games that uh, Tekken 7 compete with and I'm not saying Tekken 7 is the biggest game, oh it's amazing. Um, it isn't, but it is interesting to note how well it is doing compared to these other very very mainstream and large fighting games. Uh, and again, I just want to stress how this was impossible to foresee when we were playing uh, um, Tekken Tag 2, which was doing so poorly in terms of sales, reviews, and just overall not being a great game, to be honest. Uh, so Tekken 7 is doing great. It has... Um, um, yeah, the sales are there, the reviews are there. Uh, it's it's become it's slowly become an becoming an esport, and I can't wait to see how this develops. You know, with the new Tekken World Tour, uh, hopefully with a season three DLC. Like, uh, where will Tekken Seven end up? Like in a couple of years, in what spot will it be? Uh, I'm really hoping for the best. Uh, and yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a heads up on how the game is uh, looking real good. It's looking very healthy. Um, so yeah, I'm sure you're all stoked for the coming year 2019, what it's gonna mean for Tekken, and uh, yeah, thanks for listening to me guys.